I want to talk to you about depression. Now I know a lot of you may be clicking off right now, that's fine, it's fine, this video doesn't relate to you. But what about in the future if you find yourself falling into a slippery slope? I'm not a doctor, I'm not a psychiatrist, I don't know people inside and out. All I know is myself and what I've been through in my past. I suffered with depression for quite some time, but at the time I didn't know that I was dealing with depression. I can only describe depression as living in a cloud without the ability to think forward, to think of things positive. I was thinking now and the past and it's like living inside a box and that's all it was a dark box now to my friends and family i seemed okay because i was i could pretend that i was fine it's all an act but in reality I was hurting and lost. Now, some of you may be feeling depressed or have been depressed or hopefully not, may be depressed in the future. Or like I say, fe feeling like you're falling down a slippery slope. You must try to talk about these things to someone that you can trust a family member your partner it's not a weakness it's not weak to feel depressed it makes you feel weak but you can get through it sometimes I think that depression can be caused by a, a habit, a way of thinking, a negativity that you always dwell on. For me, the trick to get out of depression was firstly to get rid of what was the main problem in my life. Which, unfortunately, for a lot of people, is relationships. Once that negativity was out of my life, I began to feel slowly that it happened. I began to feel me again. I began to feel well, there's no other words, just me. Instead of a, a robot living day after day after day in this cloud. Sometimes we can all be tormented by ideas or thoughts that you know aren't you and you know are not the right way of living your life. And the trick is to fall out of that negativity and into positivity. It sounds so cliche, but it really does work. The moment that you feel that you are slipping down this slippery slope of negativity you snap it out you take it out because it is not worth killing hurting damaging yourself you really need to snap it out of your life focus on everything which is positive in your life Think for the future, where you want to be in the future. Look at the things in your life that is awesome, which is fantastic, that gives you energy. Embrace the things in your life which you love. Work on it. 
drive it, go forward with it, expand, think positive. If you've got a habit of when you wake up in the morning, the first thing you think about is God work or God my, my relationship or money. Don't think that. Click your fingers, snap it out because your brain and this is for, remember, this is from my personal experiences. Your brain tells you, it's like an autopilot. You think negative, bang. If you keep on doing that over and over and over again, your brain will be like, what's the point of thinking about something negative when you're only gonna switch it off? So you think about things positive or just normal day-to-day -day routine, life, whatever. I don't wish depression on anybody it's horrible but you can get through it one day you will look back on the time in your life when you were depressed and you'll say damn how the hell did I get through that but you did life is short do you really want to be worrying about something every day which isn't actually there. I'm sorry if you are depressed and I'm sorry if I'm upsetting you now because right now you might be thinking, Ben, it's not a quick fix. You can't just click your fingers. Just try. Try and remap your brain. Worrying is like a rocking horse. You can rock, 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 but you don't go anywhere. I hope that you don't think that I'm just trying to baffle you with shit. Like I say, I have my own experiences and that worked for me. And once I started to click out of this depression, this negativity, I realized that the things that I was actually worrying about back then were so trivial. Just, there were nothing. Anything can spark it off. I don't know, put in, put in your socks on and you, you put one sock on inside out. Automatically you think to yourself, how stupid are you? I know it sounds funny, but some people, I'm sure, have, are so depressed that even putting a sock on the wrong the inside out they beat themselves up over something as trivial as that I did it I did it years ago because I didn't feel like I was worth anything I didn't feel like I was anything until I started realizing do you know what I'm fucking only human I'm just a man trying to enjoy life, trying to enjoy the things around me and to better myself and to one day be what I want to be. And that's what you need to realize. Who you are, if you're watching this still now, it probably may have affected you in the past or what is going on right now, but don't worry. Embrace the things which make you feel good in life. Music, it's a great one. And sometimes you even think to yourself, do you know what? I'm quite comfortable in this. I want to dwell on this negativity. I want to cry. It's okay to cry. Get it done, get past it. Because you thrive on the things that give you that reaction. Sometimes you feel numb and crying is a physical reaction. All of a sudden you're feeling human. All of a sudden you're feeling like you're, you're, you can touch something. It's happening to you instead of numbness. But that's crying. That's dwelling on again negativity. Click it out. Snap your fingers, click it out. As soon as it starts happening, as soon as there's a little thought in your head, you're not worth it, you're not good enough, bang, you click it out. And you focus on something else. It's a habit. 
that we need to try to knock on the head. Guys, if you are depressed, if you're going through depression, don't worry. You will come out of this. You'll come out of this stronger and a better person. Because it happens to everybody. Think positive, guys. Love you. Take care. Bye-bye.